Welcome back to Movie Rewind. Today I will recap for you an action, thriller film from 2003 titled The Recruit. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. James is a talented computer science student at MIT University. His claim to fame is a program called Spartacus, which effectively turns any broadcast terminal to which it is networked into drones. When he is not writing code, James spends countless hours searching for information about his father, who mysteriously disappeared when James was a young child, leaving him desperate to uncover new information. One day, at the university's career fair, James impresses a grad recruiter for Dell with a live demonstration of the Spartacus program, and he appears to be on the fast track to success. That night, while working as a bartender, he becomes acquainted with another recruiter, Walter, who James had spotted earlier that afternoon observing from a distance at the careers event. The two men share a conversation, during which Walter reveals that he works for the CIA. James curtly says that he is not interested, prompting Walter to walk away from the conversation, but only after casually alluding to a familiarity with James's father. The comment serves its purpose by intriguing James, so he catches up to Walter before he leaves the restaurant and accepts the invitation to enter the CIA selection process. James reports to the CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia, where he participates in a battery of assessments which include a written aptitude exam, several psychological evaluations, and a polygraph test. During the screening process, he meets another recruit, Layla, and together with the other candidates who pass the initial screening process, they are transported by bus to the CIA training facility, commonly referred to as the farm. There, Walter briefs the group on what to expect during the training regimen, and they are introduced to the agency's confidential tactics and techniques of espionage. Following a rousing speech about patriotism and a sense of country, James and the other recruits begin their training in covert operations and intelligence gathering. James demonstrates a natural ability throughout the various stages of training such as weapons training, evasive driving, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Moreover, he separates himself from the group when he manages to recover from a training drill gone awry by launching himself through a glass window, which earns him universal praise from the instructors. Walter also demonstrates firsthand the methods used to defeat a lie detector by controlling your resting heart rate and being aware of your ocular movement. One night, the male candidates amongst the group are taken to a local bar and each tasked with one simple objective, to pick up a girl. James, true to form, immediately starts making headway by engaging a young woman in conversation. However, he gets sidetracked upon spotting Layla sitting alone at the rail, appearing to be overly intoxicated. James excuses himself to walk over and check on her, where a disheartened Layla reports that she washed out of the program. James offers his sympathy and Layla proceeds to come onto him, eventually luring him outside to the parking lot, where James discovers that Layla had been on a training exercise of her own, which was to prevent James from completing his objective. The following day, James gets his shot at retribution, when she is hooked up to the polygraph machine for him to bombard with probing personal questions. Some days later, Layla and James are paired together for another training exercise designed to teach methods of counter-surveillance. During the operation, they are abducted and loaded into a van, before being airlifted to a remote location and held captive in separate dungeon-like rooms by a foreign intelligence agency. For the next several days, James is interrogated and brutally tortured for information about the farm and his training instructors. And although he remains steadfast in refusing to divulge any information, his captors provide evidence that his defiance is also resulting in Layla's suffering. The idea of her plight is enough to finally coerce James and he yells out and exposes Walter's name. At this point, the rear wall of the cell suddenly raises to reveal that his fellow candidates and a tearful Layla have been observing the entire time. Walter then takes the opportunity to reiterate rule number one, do not ever get caught. That night, James is informed that he has been dismissed from the program, and after going to a motel to drown away his sorrows in alcohol, he drunkenly calls the Dell recruiter to inquire about a job. To his surprise, James wakes up the following morning to the sound of Walter sneaking into his room. Walter explains that although every candidate eventually breaks, James had lasted the longest of any candidate in the past 15 years. He had staged the act of cutting James from the program to later enlist him as a non-official cover operative in the counterterrorism division, essentially an off-the-book spy, with no protection of diplomatic immunity. He goes on to explain that James was intentionally paired with Layla in the hopes that he would win over her trust. The CIA has uncovered evidence that she is operating as a mole for a foreign intelligence service, recruited to extract a top-secret computer virus from the United States government. The virus can be distributed through a common electrical outlet, where it uses the existing wiring to spread throughout the national grid. After accepting the task, 
James re-establishes contact with the now-graduated Layla by posing as an entry-level CIA data processor. Over time, James makes it a point to repeatedly run into Layla, and the two begin to re-establish a relationship. One night, after sharing coffee, he assists her with her overcoat and affixes a listening device under her collar, giving him full access to monitor her conversations. Ultimately, the two rekindle a romantic relationship, and after sharing an evening of intimacy James sneaks off and accesses Layla's computer, confirming that it contains multiple segments of the virus code. Layla wakes up and observes James on her computer, but she waits until he leaves and checks to see what he was searching for, finding another page about his father. After reporting back to Walter and being issued a security clearance, James poses as a mail delivery person and sneaks into Layla's vacant office, barely managing to escape unnoticed. James deduces that Layla is sneaking the virus out of the building in small fragments using a USB thumb drive concealed in the false bottom of a thermal coffee mug. One morning, after spending a night at her apartment, James observes Layla attaching a surveillance device to his jacket. Outside, James removes the listening device and places it on a bypassing dog before hiding behind a parked car. Next, James tails Layla to expose the identities of her contacts, and after tracking her to a local train station he observes a note being handed off to an unidentifiable person whose face is concealed by a hood. James pursues the accomplice to the corridor beneath the station, where he is ambushed by the hooded figure, and they begin wrestling for control of his gun. A brief altercation results in James's shooting and killing the assailant, who is then identified as Zack, another CIA agent who was in the same class as James at the farm. The note that Layla had passed him is then retrieved from Zack's pocket, revealing that James may have been burned. Next, James locates Layla's vehicle on the highway and uses his truck to run her off the road. While holding her at gunpoint, he opens her mug and removes the thumb drive while angrily demanding an explanation. After insisting that James monitor her pulse through her carotid artery, Layla asserts that both she and Zack had been commissioned by the CIA to test the security protocols of the facility by attempting to smuggle out a simulated virus. Hearing this, James insists that Layla needs to flee. He then loads the thumb drive onto his laptop and uses his vast knowledge of computer code to determine that the program is not a fake. James calls Layla to warn her that the virus is real, and he also bids her farewell because the latest revelations have now left him feeling uncertain about his fate. Next, he reconvenes with Walter to confront him about the discrepancies in the stories. Despite being held at gunpoint, Walter calmly congratulates James for passing his final test. He maintains that the computer virus was not real, nor is Zack dead. The scene was again staged as part of an elaborate ruse to test James's ability as an agent. James remains skeptical, so Walter invites James to shoot him in the chest with his service weapon to confirm that it is only filled with blanks. When James hesitates, Walter knocks the gun away from him as the bullet shoots out the rear window. With the truth now exposed, James flees into an abandoned warehouse with Walter following close behind with a recovered gun. As he searches the building for James, Walter loudly exposes his plan. He admits that he had orchestrated the elaborate scheme in order to gain possession of the virus, then after framing James as a traitor, Walter will turn around and sell the program for a handsome profit. Furthermore, he admits that the familiarity with James's father was also a fabrication, thereby ruining James's memory of the man. Under duress, James agrees to hand over the laptop containing the reassembled virus. He then turns over the device to Walter, which is revealed to be running his own Spartacus program, broadcasting the entire confession back to CIA headquarters. Irate, Walter chases James out of the warehouse, where they are met by a CIA tactical unit that has just arrived on the scene. Walter chastises the agency for what he calls decades of unjust treatment, however, unbeknownst to him the Spartacus link to the CIA was a fake. The SWAT team had been dispatched there to arrest James for Zack's murder. Realizing he has just self-sabotaged his plan, Walter makes a sudden move aggressively brandishing his weapon, forcing the tactical unit to subdue him. Afterward, Layla consoles James before he heads back to Langley for debriefing. As they are driving, another CIA employee commends James by telling him it must be in your blood, confirming that his father did in fact work for the CIA. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel to see more.